Boise, Idaho. What can I do in Boise, Idaho? Well, let's see here. Museums of Boise. Learn about the history and heritage of Boise. Which museum should I visit? Well, let's see here. We have Idaho Black History Museum. What a wonderful opportunity to learn about the history of blacks in Idaho. And when you think of black history, don't all the great black Idahoans just spring to mind from the history books? Uh, all the great black Idahoans who um, must have done great things or been involved in some great events in history. Uh, their names seem to escape me. Let's see, any great black Idahoan astronauts, uh, inventors, uh, industrialists, poets, authors, singers... Uh, none really come to mind at the moment. But I'm sure there were plenty of great black Idahoan civil rights leaders, right? I mean, that's pretty much what you have to do to get your name in a black history textbook, is to be a civil rights advocate. Being advocates of being black, and therefore being part of making black history. Well... I'll find out when I step inside the Idaho Black History Museum. So this is Julia Davis Park. I'm looking for the Black History Museum. Haven't found it yet, but it's supposed to be around here somewhere. There you see in the distance the Boise Art Museum. And here is a beautiful rose garden. The largest garden in the Intermountain region. So I'm leaving the rose garden and I'm on my way in search of a very important historical site in Idaho black history. Don't know exactly what happened in black history or what Idaho black made history happen, but I'm really looking forward to finding out. And it looks like that building right there across the street. Idaho black histor... that must be it. This must be it. I wonder what happened here. Looks like those two ladies want to find out also. I well, guess not. Well, they've probably already been here multiple times. They could have told me what's inside, but um, yeah. They're on their way, and I'm on my way. Well, wouldn't you know it? They are closed. Monday through Friday, the whole damn week, they are closed. They're only open Saturday and Sunday. Now, this is astounding. I mean, people are coming from all over the region. They're coming to Boise to learn about Idaho black history. And they can't do it. The doors to truth are shut. I was hoping to spend, you know, at least a couple hours here, so I have a little bit of time to kill now. But I won't be here tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. I can only imagine what this place must be like on Saturdays. I mean, there must be a line, like, all the way from the door. That's probably why they have this long sidewalk all the way out to the street. I mean, you'd think there'd be some kind of plaque or monument commemorating what took place here in Idaho black history. But there's no clue at all. Just this building with its doors shut to the public. I don't know who a famous African Idahoan would be. I can't even think of one. I'm so ashamed to admit that I am so ignorant of black history, but my motives were noble. I really did intend to come here to learn.
Well, now up ahead, it looks like we do have a monument to somebody. It looks like we have a big top hat. It looks like we have a guy with a beard. Why, that must be none other than Abraham Lincoln. Maybe this is what that uh, Black History Museum commemorates. Abraham Lincoln's freeing of the Idaho black slaves. There you see here, let's see what the plaque says. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, he was born in St. Charles, Idaho. Abraham Lincoln was born. Oh, no, that's the sculptor. Boise, Idaho. A lot of tanning salons in Boise. A lot of fair-skinned people in Boise. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they can't appreciate their black history. Well, my trip to Boise wasn't entirely bereft of the opportunity to take in some appreciation of the blackness construct. Here you see the uh, Boise State Athletics and those uh, good homegrown Idaho athletes.